Hey, Derek Hagen here, financial therapist specializing in meaning and purpose and mindfulness here with another Money Health conversation where we're going to talk about how you control your financial life. Taking control of your financial life is about lining up your actions with things that are in control, things that you have control over. It's about taking responsibility for your financial life. So for example, if you list out all of the things over which you have some control, you know, the past is outside of your control. The past can't be changed, nor can you control outcomes. You have some influence over the outcomes, but the actual outcomes are outside of your control. So what is in your control are your choices, and you are responsible for your choices. I'll say that again, you are responsible for your choices. Nobody else is responsible for your choices. And this is tricky when there's things that happen to us that are bad. You know, some things, things aren't our fault. So those things that are not our fault, those things that are outside of the circle that are, that are my fault, right? So these circles out here on the outside, these little dots, those are not my fault. And so things that aren't my fault, I feel like are not my problem. If somebody harmed me, if something happened to me and it wasn't my fault, it really feels like it's not my problem. It really feels like it's not really my responsibility. And so there's a discomfort here. There's a, an uncomfortable zone. So if you draw a circle of all the things that are your responsibility and overlay a circle that shows things that are your fault. Now, there are some things that are outside of the circle of your responsibility. There could be something that is your fault, but it's not your responsibility to fix. You may have I don't know, kicked a rock while you were walking. Well, that was your fault. But is the movement of that rock really your responsibility? So I, I kept some things outside of that circle. But most of the things that are your fault are your responsibility. But the uncomfortable zone is those things that are not your fault, but are still your responsibility. And this is where your financial life lies. Just because it's not your fault doesn't mean it's not your responsibility. So think about the things that are in your control and map that up to your actions. When you think about your financial life, there are things in your control that you can that you can do. Stay out of the just the left circle only. You know, when you have things in your control but you're not doing it, that's not going to be helpful. Or if you're just in that right circle, uh, you're doing things that are outside of your control. You're trying to control the uncontrollable. But if you focus on that intersection, you're doing the things that are in control and you're letting go of things that are not in your control, and that will help you move forward. Now remember, we're, we talked about outcomes are outside of our control. Now what does that mean? Let's look at outcome-focused people, which is goal-driven people. A goal-driven person is driven by a goal. A system-driven person is driven by a system. Let's figure out the difference. Now you see the goal-driven person, this person is unhappy. The system-driven person, this person's happy. Okay, so the goal-driven person needs to have a goal to strive for. And you'll see that until they reach that goal, they're not happy. So a goal could be something with a defined outcome. I got my boss's job. I lost 10 pounds. I ran a marathon in under four hours. I lost 50 pounds or 20 pounds or 10 pounds. Those are goals. Systems, this person's already happy and along the way, uh, this person becomes happy and stays happy without having a goal because a system is something that you do every day. Systems are in your control. The result of the outcome are not. So a system would be doing something that increases my marketability. This is being active every day. This is learning to eat right. This is exercising. So a system is something you do every day. A system is in your control. A goal is an outcome. And outcomes are largely outside of your control. If I go to a job interview, I have control over how much I prepare, how much sleep I get, and so on. I have no control over the hiring manager's mood, how many people are going to be there, what kind of questions they ask, whether or not they ate lunch, the timing of the interview, and ultimately their decision. I have no control over their decision. So if I tie my happiness to that specific outcome, I'm hanging my hat on things that are outside of my control. So when we take responsibility for our financial life, we gain a sense of autonomy. Right? So the more responsibility we take, the more 
we feel that sense of autonomy. So we could be sitting down here uh, on the low end of taking responsibility, not feeling any autonomy, saying there's nothing that I can do. I literally have no sense of control over my life. But on the top end of this, where we take responsibility, we feel that strong sense of autonomy, and we can say to ourselves, okay, sure, bad things happen. They're not my fault, but they are my responsibility. You get one life. Live intentionally.